April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take plastic grocery bags and make them into what we call plarn or plastic yarn that you can use for crocheting projects. I recently finished making this round basket out of grocery bags and I've published a free pattern for that on my website, bananamoonstudio.com, so you can find it there. But what I'd like to show you today is how to take those plastic bags and actually turn them into a usable plastic yarn. So let's move this out of the way and I'm going to reposition the camera here so that I can show you what I'm doing. So I have a stash of plastic bags Probably a lot of people have the same. So you want to take your bag and there's kind of a, a fold here at the bottom. I like to grab the fold and the handle and straighten that out and then do the same with the other side. That helps straighten out your bag because we want to get most of the wrinkles out of it. Okay, let me put the camera down so you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, so then you want to smooth out your plastic bag so that you've taken most of the folds and wrinkles out. And then you're going to fold it into fourths this direction. This does not have to be precise. It's fine to just eyeball it. Okay, so I folded it like this. And then at the top, there are these irregular bits and the handles. We're going to cut those off. I actually tried not cutting them off and making one of the baskets with all of the bags still intact and it it made a lot of um, little flappy irregular bits that stood up off my basket and I didn't really care for the look of that so you can leave the handles on if you want to work with them, but if you want a nice smooth looking basket, probably best to cut them off. So once you've cut them off, you have this long thin rectangle. Eyeball it, cut that in half this way. Okay, and then you have two pieces, layer them on top of each other, eyeball it, cut them in half again, the same direction. Okay. Once you've done that, you have four loops of plastic that look like this. Okay, now what you have to do is join these together. So I'll unfold the second one. I'm going to take one of my plastic bags and put it through, or one of my loops and put it through the other one like this, so I've made a T shape. Then I'm going to take this one here and put one end through the other and pull the ends apart so that it straightens out again but with the other bag knotted around it and then I pull both and it makes a knot working on a video all right then I'll take another of my loops and place it through the top of the second one that I had so I've made another T put one end through the other pull them apart and I've got them knotted now, so I pull and they're stuck together. I'll do this again. One end through the other, pull them apart, grab down here and pull. So this makes a knot that you can see here, makes a small knot when I've pulled them. Um, but you can just crochet with that knot. You don't have to worry about it. So that's how you're going to make your yarn. Um, you'll just keep going and cut as many bags as you need in order to do this. Let's bring the camera back up. There we are. All right. So now what I need to do is get it on my hook. It's really bulky to try and make your usual slip knot with this. So what I recommend you do instead is take the end you're starting from and fold it down so that you have it like this and then grab this piece through here 
and fold these loops forward. And you've made a little circle. You can put your hook through and then pull that tight, just like so. All right, and then to start, the easiest way that I found to start the base of the basket was just to uh, chain two here. And I'm not showing you this, you know, the way you'd be looking at it, so mirror image here, but. Um, and then, so I have, you know, one chain here and this is my first one. Then just go into that first chain and do your first round. So I'm doing my first six single crochets in that first chain. Um, I have found it really helpful to place a locking stitch marker in the first stitch of each round so that you can keep track of uh, where you are in your round. I don't have one with me at the moment, but um, anyhow, so you're going to put your first round in all in that first chain, and that's going to be six single crochet stitches. So I'm not going to go through and show you how to make this whole basket because I think if you have some crochet skills it's pretty self-explanatory with the pattern. But this kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. This is five single crochets in the first chain. So um, that is how you are going to make and start, um, make your plarn and start the base of your basket. Um, I hope that you have a great time with this project. The free pattern for the basket is going to be on my website, bananamoonstudio.com. And also there will be a link there to subscribe to my newsletter. And you can always find my latest free patterns, tutorials, and reviews on my blog, which is bananamoonstudio.com. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.